All right, I'm going to be trying to hand feed my um, fish in my 55. I've already had my Akara and my um, Siamese algae eater come up, or flying fox. I'm not quite sure which species. The angelfish seems a little interested. <laughs> angelfish actually have, um, oh, we almost got one. Yesterday, my um, angelfish, I was trying to get some, some gravel out of the tank to, um, to get some beneficial bacteria in my five gallon crab tank. And um, there's air bubbles from the bubbler that got on my hand. And it actually bit the bubbles off my hands off my hand and it they actually have they can actually they can actually pretty hurt pretty bad. They have a pretty sharp tooth that can poke you. Saudi wafer is already starting to disintegrate. Let's go ahead and drop it in. But yeah, I, it might be because I didn't have the camera out but some of them are definitely eating off my hand um earlier. So I'm gonna quickly put the lid on. All right, sorry about that. I had to put the lid on. But yeah, everyone's doing good. I did a slight rescape on the tank. Um, yeah, the crab tank. Um, I'll explain it a lot in the other video, but something's going on with my crab. Um, I read his tank and I'll explain it to y'all in another video and then I was gonna make a video on this but I just didn't have the time so I'm gonna combine it I got a bunch of I got four new fish and two other animals for the 10 gallon as well as some plants I still got filled up um it's got some pretty well my friend gave me this water lettuce it has not been doing well um there's only one root I, I don't the roots keep falling off. I don't know why. I mean, I'm pretty sure, there, I don't know if it's because there's not enough nutrients in the water, um, or maybe there's too much. I'm not sure. Um, I've, I've never had, I never really had the best luck of floating plants. Anyway, we got some, I got a Java moss temple or uh, pyramid. My crayfish are actually hiding in there. Um, let me double check to make sure that's the truth. Yeah, I don't see any of the crayfish out and about, so the two crayfish are in there. Um, got a java fern. Um, my friend who is good with plants told me to just put it on top of the gravel um, and not put it in. I, or at least not all the way in the gravel. I was going to, but it kept floating, so I have it in between this driftwood here. Um, we got four new platies. I was, um, I was originally going to get three. Um, but, but then I saw one that I wanted to swap out, but instead she just, the, um, lady at a pet store just gave me four for the price of three. So we got this big, I believe it's a male, um, platy, Mickey Mouse platy. We got one of my, one of the coolest ones I didn't even know existed, a Mickey Mouse platy, but it's blue. Um, I believe it's called Blue Lag Mickey Mouse platy. Um, we got a golden platy, which... Um, I don't know the correct names of all these, so sorry about that, but I'm not, I'm not sure if it's a male or a female. She said it looked like a female, and I'm still having trouble deciding, or like, figuring out if it is. It has a tail more like a male. Um, she could have accidentally grabbed the wrong one, but then, I'm, this is a for sure female, I'm pretty sure, which is the one I originally wanted to swap out with the gold one, but she gave me this one for free. Um, it was a female... I could tell by the tail um, um, that was in a planted tank by herself. So I decided to get that. And then the two animals, as you can see, I didn't say fish because they're not fish, but I got two animals. My brother, technically, he got them for me. Two African dwarf frogs. Um, I think they're both up at the top. Um, maybe not. Uh, they like to hide a lot. Um, sometimes it takes a bit to find them. They were both hanging up by the heater, on top of the heater earlier. Um. Um. Sometimes they hide in the moss pyramid, so I'm checking there. It's really hard to tell. 
Um, yeah, I don't see them out and about right now. They, they're probably just hiding. Um, let me take one more look. Yeah, they're definitely hiding or I just can't tell exactly where they're at. But they're in here, don't worry. Um, and then the last update for the 10 gallon is I moved the banjo catfish. So the banjo catfish ended in 55, but um, it just wouldn't come out at all to eat. So I put it in the breeding net where he was eating, but he jumped out after like a week because he jumped out the same day I was gonna let him go um, when I came home from school. But he jumped out while I was at school. Um, so I decided to just move in here so you can get food easier. He's in there. Um, I'm My hope is I'm gonna be getting a 20 to 30 gallon. Most, if I were to get one, it hopefully will be this 29 all in, all in one with like all the supplies. Um, but I'm gonna be doing sand in that tank, hopefully. And possibly some more plants. So I'd be moving him into there. For like, that would be the last move around I am for him. But, um, yeah. All the other fish in here are natives, like the crayfish. Well, well fish and animal. animals. The snail's wild. The crayfish are wild caught and native. Um, there's a bunch of gambusia or mosquito fish. And a rosy minnow, which I got from the pet store to um to like as a starter fish for the original native tank that's now the crab tank which i'll give an update on the crab soon um and oh one more thing i got a bunch of free will you know those little pond snails that can sneak in when you order plants that just are impossible to get rid of well i got a bunch of them for free to help clean up the crab tank because he um because um there any food particles but i mean they kind of make a bigger mess but they're still doing a cleanup job but yeah that was just a little update that i didn't even realize was seven minutes long but yeah um like and subscribe if you joined the, if you enjoyed the video see y'all next time bye